officials at one of Mexico's top football clubs were taken aback when their new national coach, Sven Juran Eriksson, unexplained turned up. He was given VIP treatment, of course, and gave interviews to the local media. So why is the Mexican FA furious at a total lack of respect? Nina Nana explains. It's not every day the national coach pops in, so if he wants to blow the whistle, you let him. It may have been rather surprising for the championship winning team, the Pumas, when Sven Joran Eriksson dropped by, but not even the two brunettes he'd brought along aroused any suspicion. He said as the new coach of Mexico, he was there to check out new players for the national squad. He even talked like him. I thank you more for your support. And, uh, I hope that you will uh, but this wasn't the former England manager. It was plain Derek Williams, who describes himself as the UK's number one look-alike, sound-alike celebrity double. And he'd played a blind, convincing all around him, including the media and coaching staff. The problem is the real Sven Joran Eriksson, who was in America at the time, can no longer provide his look-alikes with a good living here in the UK, where he's something of a football has-been. So Mexico is now the place to be. Derek Williams' audacious feat in fooling the footy professionals has caused a real stir in the look-alike community. In this country, people know about look-alikes, but they're always in the press. So people don't fall for it so much here, but when you go abroad, they fall for it, and um, yeah, you can get away with quite a lot of things. We must enhance non-compliance protocols. The trouble with becoming a professional look-alike is when it's good, it's very good. But you never know how long your subject is going to be around to keep you in business. Nina Nana, ITV News. And that is the news. There'll be updates throughout the night and bulletins throughout the weekend. But from me and the whole team here, a very good night to you and have a great weekend.